Hi, my name is Matt Syrett, and in this video, we're going to look at how I modeled the cylinder here. We're also going to look at how I modeled the wire using a NURBS curve, and then we're going to move on to actually UV in this item. So let's get started. Let's get this cylinder done. Okay, I'm just going to make a cylinder, rotate it, holding J to snap rotate. Just going to make it slightly bigger. Uh, okay. Roughly about there. Again, what I can do is half it, and then I'll just duplicate them over. So let's grab this so we can see it, and let's move this battery pack out of the way. So we don't need this bit, so we can delete it. Ah, uh, and then if we just grab. Actually, uh, nope, two faces. centerpiece, get rid of that face, okay, and then I'm going to just going to add this bit in because that makes it a little bit more interesting, two edge loops, two face, you could just select all of those individually but it's a lot quicker doing it this way. And again, I'm just going to make sure that it's straightened out. And the best view to do this in is top view. And I'm just holding J to snap it once I've got the scale tool like that. Okay, uh, maybe not that. Let's bring this in a bit. And let's grab all these and soften. There you go. Same with this. It's already softened. And let's. Grab all the edges. Yep. Bevel. And let's put a point 0.3 on there. Let's take off the wireframe. Okay. So we've got an issue here. So we just go edge ring and go to um, soften. There we go. There you go. Okay. Bit big. There you go. And all I'm going to do is, did not mean to uh, export selection there, and I'm just going to flip it, uh, I think. Okay, for this next section, what we're going to do is we're just going to build this cable here. Now, what I need to do first is if I go into curves and surfaces here, I'm going to actually draw out the curve and surface from the top view. I'm just going to click to put points down. Notice. Hit enter. And then I'm just going to hide this bit here. And you'll notice that now I've got this curve. If I move this into position, like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a cylinder, like here. And I'm just going to put it here and make it into the shape I need it to be. So angle the thing, rotate it. 
about that thin. Now, we can strip out uh, edges once we've done this. This isn't a problem. Okay, we've got that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the faces and just select these faces here. Select the curve. And then if I go into extrude with the option here, I can say apply. And there you go, it follows the curve. Now you probably need to relax this a little bit. And you may want to move some of this down like this. Relax that slightly, bring it down. Bring that down, bring that down. But you can play around with it. And that's how you can create very simple cab uh, cables, wires, anything like that using using the extrude along the curve. So this is now complete and this is the uh, Blue Peter moment because I think this one's already UV'd. Yes, it is. Now the whole thing shares the same texture sheet. He says, minus the decals. Um, but yeah, everything other than the decals. Uh, where's that one? Ah, minus the wire as well, for some reason. Oh, I know why. Yes we just did this one anyway uh, so if I grab everything minus the wire and minus the decals you can see it all shares the same UV uh, the same UV sheet now the reason for this is because it is it's just a single prop so you shouldn't be having multiple UV sheets on something this small um, but to begin with what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these and just show you how to UV, um, say, this piece here. So what I tend to work with is I tend to uh, use automatic to do this first. And then what I do is I stitch it back together. Now one of the other things I turn on is this. So I can see the texel density that I'm using. Uh, and to make sure that none of this is stretching or warped too much. What I can also do as well is rotate that round. Would help if I was on there. Where am I? Here we go, down at the bottom. So you can see that's kind of ups that's actually upside down at the moment. So I want to flip this the right way. And there you go, you can see that it's the right way round. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll just seam this back together basically. So. Um, put that there, put that there. double click on that and it will select the whole shell. You can also select the shell by just double clicking on say a UV or even a face and it will select the shell that's associated with it. Now one thing that might be wrong with this is that maybe I actually don't want um, say these these bits here. I can cut these out and if I hit cut, select the face, I can remove that. Or I can stitch it back together. And if I hold shift right mouse button, I can do that by doing this. Now, what I'm going to do is find this one as well. And I'm just going to cut these. And then sew them here. I'm also just going to... And I'm holding shift again to get these tools a line and then what I can do is select these UVs and go align center and it also center them in and the same I'm just gonna align here same align just keeping it straight doesn't warp that much now I'm gonna select the whole UV go merge and that's gonna merge them so now these are now connected here. And you can see that because C 
seamless transition. Okay. So the next one bit is we're going to do this one. Nope. Make sure all this is all merged. That's fine. Okay. Something isn't right here. Ah, you see how we're not cleaning this up yet. So if for, for any reason, if something happens like uh, you can't like merge those edges together, you know something's wrong. And you need to fix it. So even at this stage, you can fix things. Merge. Merge. So you can see in the count here that should, there's two, when there's only should be really one. Obviously, I'm going to have to do it on that side as well, but we'll come to that in a minute. Um, so now, there you go. So, because of that, I knew there was an issue. And what I can do now is, I can actually align this. And I'm just holding shift right click to do that. I'm going to do the same up here as well. And here. I'm just drag marquee tool selecting it. And I'm going to align that down. No. Align that down. Align that up. And I'm going to select those and so. And same here. So. So now I've got that perfect. So if I was to have a scratch that went over here, it's going to perfectly line up with each other. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly fix this as well because we need, still need to. So if I now align that, and actually, I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is create a UV shell, which has now created a UV shell for me. And then I can stitch that together. And again, I'm just going to align these up. And if I already align them, then on one side, it's quite easy to align them on the other side. And again, just merge the UVs. And there you go. We get a nice seamless transition on the angle. Now, oh, hello. I'm missing some pieces, mainly there. So let's just cut this. And I'm just going to select these edges. going to select these individual edges and go control uh, two edge, two edge ring and then I'm going to sew it so it's now sewed together and if I just cut these off a minute I can select this whole edge like this okay now what I need to do is let's just select. Can you see how it's selecting? There you go. Okay. 
It's a bit tedious. Now I could have done it the other way. I could have gone uh, like that. Don't know why I didn't do that. I am sorry, but I can easily go to edge, to edge ring, and it'll select it. Then what I'm going to do is click so. I'm. This is warped a little bit, but we don't see it much. It's going to be thingy. So we could. I think if we grab the unfold. That's fine. It's not too much of an issue, that sort of thing isn't, because it's going to be dark there anyway. Okay, now... I'm going to also create a UV shell and stitch this there. Rotate it around, so it's now, I know it's the right way. Gonna change this slightly. The reason for that is because we've still got one last thing to sew here. Okay. And again, I'm just going to align these. And merge. There you go. So we've got stuff here. Now the next bit is, ooh, not good. So from now on I'm just going to cut that now, now that I've got this. And I'm just going to select that, stitch it. And we're lining it, and you can see that. That's all I'm doing. I'm just selecting the top, because if I select the side, if I then select that, it's going to do that. So we need to be careful of that. Okay, and what I can do is this. There we go. Don't worry, we can fix this in a minute. He says. <laughs> okay. Nope. That's fine. So that. I'm just going to unfold. Okay. Now, what I can do is this straighten edge. And then what I can do is. I'm just aligning these. Same up here. And if I go straight in, there you go. And there you go. Quick way of unwrapping. So in the next video, we're going to look at finishing UV in this uh, object off, as well as UV in this cable. So I'll see you in the next video.